Hello guys, Jagveer here. Back with another video of SolidWorks 2018 and today we will learn about how to use a revolved boss or base feature. So as we can see from the shape it describes us that revolves the sketch or select the sketch contours around an axis to create a solid feature. So we know from the description of the feature that we need an axis and a sketch in order to make the feature applicable. So let's get started. First I would randomly choose any any plane. Let's say I go and start with front plane and then I click on sketch. Again on sketch. So now the first thing that I can do is to make any random structure that I would like to revolve or rotate about an axis. So the main feature as a revolve in this case is going to be very helpful for all the round objects that you are trying to make especially like cylinder or circular surfaces because that will give you the counter and all you need to do is select an axis and about the axis you would be easily able to revolve that particular sketch or feature in order to have a solid. So let's see how it works. If I try to make a rectangle, a simple corner rectangle and I click in the center, drag it to the one side and I smart dimension it randomly anything that I want to. So let's say I dimension it to be 120 and this side to be 120 as well. So right now I can see I got one sketch completed. I can click on ex exit sketch. So for revolve let's see what we need for revolve boss feature. They are asking us to choose a sketch or a plane so in this case we are going to choose a sketch and so you can see that when I clicked on the line it by default it chose that particular line as the axis or symmetry so in this case we can do it but what if I want to revolve around this particular line well we can do the same thing as well so we need an axis always for revolving. So in this particular case it was a rectangle so luckily we can choose whatever dimension we are looking for or whatever line that feels good to us but not always the case is going to be the same. So what I mean is what if I don't have a rectangle and I'm asked to make let's say so let's say I make a contour a small rectangle which is away from the origin by four lines let's say something like this randomly click OK you can dimension it but I would not dimension it this time so now I don't have any axis particular my origin is right there but I don't have an axis if I will try to revolve right now it will revolve about the same axis but what if I want to revolve this particular feature about the origin point well that won't be possible yet because we don't have any particular axis so what we can do is to create an axis we need to go to reference geometry and we have option of plane or axis we click on axis so we have option, different different options. We choose two planes. We click on two planes. Under the part tree, we have different planes available: front, top, and right. So we know that in this particular case, if I want to revolve this feature about this axis, I need an axis which is perpendicular to the sketch that we have. So the intersection of right plane and the front plane will make a good axis right here. 
So now you can see this is the origin and the axis itself is on the origin because the axis is made because of the intersection of two planes which is the front and the right plane. So now if I want to try applying revolve base function again so now I have an axis right here I can select the sketch right here so axis of revolution we can click the axis and there we go so this is how you can use revolve feature in SOLIDWORKS so this is a very fundamental example in further videos we will surely discuss about more complex parts and making them using the same feature so do not forget to subscribe the channel and like the video and share with your friends take care